Having found a war target, mining during the war deck, we are now in the process of lining up a cloquet with a gate. So Zeef, uh, how excited are you about the prospect of this barge dying? Uh, well, it's uh, it, it's going to be really good. Um, you know, you just get out there and you give it your all and you you just play as hard as you can. And when it all comes together, it's just really nice. That's good. I'm liking the motivational talk here. This is helping me keep my concentration for the, the moment when this thing dies. Now you'll, uh, you'll of course, have to be you'll have to be fast on the warp and locking and stuff like that so do you think you're up for this yes i think so i've uh well i've well practiced at the art of landing on barges you do have a long and, and glorious history of murdering barges don't you yes i'm known as the terrible teacher of miners apparently they learn nothing Miners everywhere could likely learn from your example. They could learn a hell of a lot. So here we are, we're now 50 kilometers from a target in line with the Pullen Gate, which is actually the gate from through which my DPS character will come through. So here we are, we're on a DPS character set up for killing Bardies. Not the double scram, this is because they're famous for having Warp core stabs. So I'm going to just jump through into just Cheris and then I'm going to warp to my cloaky character at 50. The entire crowd is waiting with bated breath now. I'm now jumping the gate, so now more time will tell as he's looking at local. I'm now warping to my character at 50. It's a long walk. Point eight. Now just the tedious process of DPSing down the helpless mining vessel. Yes, he is a procurer, so he's tanky, so he will take a bit of burning down. It is worth saying at this point that uh, now is when it becomes very important to keep an eye on local to ensure that the procurer does not have uh, friends coming to cowardly assist him in not dying. Yes, we're, we're always upset when the barge has friends to assist in his survival. Occasionally, miners will uh, attempt to mount some kind of defense with the use of drones or uh, other weapons. Is he doing this now? 
Yes, he's ha he has drones on me. In this circumstance, though, you can basically just laugh at his drones while you murder them. He, he has help goblin ones on me. Oh, well, laughing might be cruel then. Just because someone has a small penis doesn't mean you need to point it out. Yes, I know. I'm just quickly going to scrape them off. He's trying to burn away from me. This is an epic chase between Assault Frigate and Procurer. Now the Procurer is not the fastest of vessels out there in the uh, New Eden universe. No, it's, uh, it's a glitching uh, buffalo try and run away from a uh, really fast motorbike. So, how do you feel about his chances of uh, perhaps slingshotting you uh, to land the scram and web, or escaping? Yes, he's, he's shown a good a good chance of slingshotting me here. He's managing to he's managing to bob between three hundred meters from me and three hundred and eighty five meters from me. And if he should slip to five hundred meters away, then there's a chance that he could totally throw me into the path of an asteroid, causing me irreparable damage. If that were to happen, uh, your assault frigate could become hung up on the asteroid, and he could conceivably escape. Yes, that would be the worst case scenario. And today we're hoping that this pitiful occurrence, the, the it, it's, it's really a mark of shame to be hurled into an asteroid by a procurer. We're hoping that today this won't be the day this happens. Today we're hoping for something more fun. Today we're hoping for fireworks. Gee, I'm really making a meal out of this Procura. Is his tank dropping as fast as you would have expected? Well, they are extremely tanky, so... You always have to bear that in mind when, when attacking a Procurer. But he, I don't think he has any backup near enough to reach him before he dies. He's now reaching... Oh, he's... He's ejected from his Procurer. And warped his pod up. So now that all that remains is to uh, kill the Procurer in this uh, surprise last minute change of change. events. This last minute twist. And here goes the Procurer. The Procurer is now dead. 